All right, hey guys, welcome back to I Wanna Go Bananas. Apparently there isn't going to be a secret world made for medium difficulty. So here we are on hard mode. I have all four of the other secrets so far. I pointed out where all of those were in my playthrough, but I didn't really talk too much about this one. I just only kind of briefly talked about it. But the final secret is in this area. Since we have the key card from the Mother 3 enemy, we can open that and grab this flower looking thing. This is an updated version of the game, but he still hasn't fixed where it says plus. So we can plus backspace, and with all five secrets, we can enter the secret world. So there's 10 levels. I think the harder ones are the ones on top, so let's try to get those out of the way first. I was hoping he might have changed this a little bit, because this world's kind of ugly, and it really doesn't mesh that well with the other game. The other game's all whimsical and happy and fun. This is like dark and dreary, filled with battle axes covered in blood. This one's actually kind of difficult as well. Probably a bad one to start with. I, I'm not really too fond of those jumps, and there's a lot of them in the secret world. Almost had it that first time. Okay, now we just fall straight down. Don't die! Nice. One down, nine to go. Actually, let's do an easy one. Some of these are like insanely short too, it's weird. Like this one, perhaps. This room has one trap, and it somehow managed to kill me twice. <laughs> but whatever, that room's done now. figures I would die to the axes with blood on them. Guess that's what they're there for. Just had to make sure and test them. This jump sucks. That's the main thing I remember about this room. But after that jump, it's pretty much over. Jump, jump. Okay. Please, thank you. Alright, making pretty good progress. This one was... right, okay. So the platforms either fall or start moving when you stand on them long enough. I think we also need to leave a sort of staircase to get back up. So one of these starts moving to the right. Must be this one. Yeah, okay. Ah, no! My stairs! Also, there are no saves. Or at least when I first played through this, there weren't any saves in any of these rooms. Normally that wasn't too much of an issue, but there's some pretty tedious rooms that a save point would have helped a lot. Okay. I don't know if these fall, I don't really want to find out. Bastard trap, I'm sure that got me the first time. Another short one? This one... Might be a little devious, though. But that falls. Yep, who would have thunk it? Okay. Ah, uh, of course. One more trap at the end. 
It looks like the block before the trap doesn't fall, though. So that might be a safe area. Ah! Okay, it does fall. <laughs> Halfway there. Alright, this is going pretty well. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Ah, oh, this room is full of these jumps. This one might take a while. Oh, and the blocks fall, too. Awesome. That only adds to the fun. I don't like these jumps. Especially when I have to drop into one. I forgot. I was... I was surprised that I made the jump. I forgot that the blocks fell. What? Okay, I think we have to actually let that block fall. And then... As it's falling, make the jump. Which is sure to be pleasant. It seems like if I can make through the first one, I tend to do okay. And wait and jump. Okay. Four more. Oh, this one. This one was kind of neat. Aside from this one, I only remember one other one, and... Why didn't you fall, platform? Alright, worked that time. This one, you weave back and forth. I don't remember this one. Alright. Supersonic axes. I think I remember how to do that. Why didn't you fall? It's what you were programmed to do. And there's also a trap here, so jump, small jump, okay. And this one's a trap. Ooh. So I still remember some about this. Oh, this one. This one is actually my favorite one, I think. This one's pretty short, but I also thought it was kind of fun. Except when that happens. Damn ledge jumps. But the other half of this room is just a straight fall, which I kind of like. Okay, so we have to actually get down there, saving our double jump. Ah, damn it! See, this is... well, I don't know. Maybe a save point would make this too trivial. Would make it kind of less tedious, though. Especially if you're stuck on this for a long time. Always having to do the left side would kind of suck. Ooh, that was close. And then there were two. I remember one. What's the other one? Oh god, not this one. I'm gonna die so many times just to this first jump. This first jump's really the only problem spot in this one. At least that I remember. You have to like hit your head just right on the ceiling. And then bounce through. Ah, made it, damn. Yep, there we go, okay. Uh, let's see. This way. No, nope, not this way. Uh, down. Fa, damn it. I don't want to do this jump anymore. Okay. Just careful, take your time. Better than having to jump through those axes again.
There was also a trap at the end of this one. I think the top block over here. Oh, thank you. That jump kind of sucks. On to the last one. This one is kind of puzzly, actually. And I should hopefully remember the pattern. So there's one correct path, and then all the others will lead to death. Two, three, four, five. And then, uh... Alright. Now it kind of changes it up a bit. So all the axes are safe, and all the floor isn't. And this jump... That jump's the worst. Now, for this screen, a save point would really be appreciated. Because once you know the pattern, it's just completely tedious having to go through it all again. Ugh. If I can just make it past that jump, I think that's about it. Aha, okay. Now the exit is actually on the bottom. One final nasty trick. No traps, please. Alright, that's it. We made it. And that pretty much wraps up the secret world. Just ten stages to go through. Thank you. I think I deserve some applause for that. I'm not really sure what that moon orb is about. Since we don't really ever get it, there's no way to get it. Instead, we are saved by our secrets. And that is actually the true ending of the game. I think I'm kind of burned out on this game now. This is, uh, I think, the fifth update. And normally when this game was updated, I would run through it again, just to kind of see what was different. I would recommend the newer version, though, of course. Um, the stylist boss in World 3, where you have to do math. That's a lot better now. It was <laughs> pretty badly broken the first time I played this. The springs that I complained about in World 5 seemed to be better. They didn't really give me much trouble this time through. But that annoying jump in World 2 is still there. The one in the Minecraft level, where you have to jump through those blocks. That jump still sucks as, about as much as it did before. And especially when you play this on hard mode, you have to do that jump twice in order to make it through. But I would say that's about my only complaint left with this game. That jump sucks. <laughs> but if you can fix that, then I would say this is one fine fan game and probably one of my favorites just because it is ambitious and has a lot of variety to it. More than most fan games. But that secret world, I don't know. It kind of feels ugly and out of place. It doesn't mesh well with the other levels in the game. But either way, that is it. We have completely finished this game now. And that is another fan game completed. Which is like the fifth one I've done recently, I think? Maybe. See, I did, uh, I want to be the pleasure, I don't want to be anything, I want to find the beautiful town. Is there another one? Aside from bananas? I don't remember. Maybe. Anyway, I think I will probably do I want to go the parallel worlds next, which is the game that the Dark Souls level came from. So that should be fun as well. And thank you for watching.